Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Psalms 119, 89 through 178, and 1 Corinthians 8. So, Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Lamb, or Lamida, Lamida, Psalm 199-89. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it endures. Your laws endure to this day, for all things serve you. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Save me, for I am yours. I have sought out your precepts. The wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes to all perfection. I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. Mem. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me, and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every evil path, so that I might obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste. Sweeter than honey to my mouth, I again gain understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. None. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and comfort uh, confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praises of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your path precepts. Yet uh, your statutes are my heritage forever. You are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Samaka I hate double-minded people. But I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Satan, uh, sustain me, my God, according to your promise, and I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. Un uphold me, and I will be delivered. I always have regard for your decrees. You react all. You reject all who stray from your decrees, for their delusions come to nothing. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore, I love your statutes. My flesh trembles in fear of you I stand in awe of your laws I am 
I have done what is righteous and just. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Ensure your servant's well-being. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail, looking for your salvation, looking for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your love, and teach me your decrees. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. It is time for you to act, Lord. Your law is being broken because I love your commands more than gold, more than pure gold, and because I consider all your precepts right. I hate every wrong path. P. Your statutes are wonderful, therefore I obey them. The unfolding of your words gives light. And it gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and plants looking or plant. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as I always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your words. And let no sin rule over me. Redeem me from human oppression that I might obey your precepts. Make your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Streams of tears flow from my eyes, for your law is not obeyed. Tasadi, you are righteous, Lord. And your laws are right. The statutes you have laid down are righteous. They are full, tr fully trustworthy. And my zeal wears me out, for my enemies ignore your words. Your promises have been thoroughly tested, and your t servant loves them. Though I am lowly and despised, I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is everlasting, and your law is true. Trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. Your statutes are always righteous. Give me understanding that I may live. Oh, I call with all my heart. Answer me, Lord, and I will obey your decrees. I call out to you, save me, and I will keep your statutes. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night. And that I may meditate on your promises. Hear my voice in accordance with your love. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your laws. And those who devise wicked schemes are near, but they are far from your law. Yet you are near, Lord, and all your commands are true. Long ago I learned from your statutes that you established them to last forever. Fresh. Look on my suffering and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your law. Defend my cause and redeem me. <laughs> Preserve my life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek out your threatening decrees. Your compassion, Lord, is great Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faithless with loathing, for they do not obey your word. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. 
all your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. Sin and shine. Sign and shine. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. I rejoice in the promise, like one who finds great spoil. I hate and detest falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous law. In great peace have those who love you and love your law. And nothing can make them stumble. I wait for your salvation, Lord, and I follow your commands. I obey your statutes, for I love them greatly. I obey your precepts and your statutes, for all my ways are known to you. Tawa May my cry come before you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promises. My, may my lips overflow with praise, for you teach me your decrees. May my tongue sing of your world, for all your commands are righteous. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Let me live that I may praise you, and may your laws sustain me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. That was Psalm 119, 89 through 176. And now we will be turning to 1 Corinthians 8. Concerning food sacrificed to idols. 1 Corinthians 8. Now, about food sacrificed to idols. We know that we all possess knowledge, but knowledge puffs up while love builds up. Those who think they know something do not yet know as they ought to know. But whoever loves God, is known by God. So then, about eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that an idol is nothing at all in the world, and that the, there is no God but one. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many idols, yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things come, and for whom we live. And there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things come, and through whom we live. But now everyone possesses the knowledge, and some people are still so accustomed to idols that when they eat sacrificed food, they think of it as having been sacrificed to a god. And since their conscience is weak, it is defiled. But food does not bring us near to God. We are no worse if we do not eat, and no better if we do. Be careful, however, that the exercise of your right, uh, rights does not become a stumbling block to the weak. 
However, if someone with a weak conscience sees you with all your knowledge eating in an idol's temple, won't that person be emboldened to eat what is sacrificed to idols? So, this weak brother or sister for whom Christ died is destroyed by your knowledge. When you sin against them in this way and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if we if what I eat causes my brother or sister to fall into sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I will not cause them to fall. And that was First Corinthians eight, which concludes the daily bread portion of the program. I mean sorry, the Bible with Briscoe for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Psalms one hundred and twenty. Uh, through 122 and 1 Corinthians 9. Father, I just ask for, uh, I just thank you for your word. For if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because God willing, we will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.